Now we want to check in with our live anchor Katie Emmon, who is at the Granger County Tomato Festival today, and we are wearing red, the perfect color for this, Katie. Oh yeah, Brittany, it's like we're the biggest fans of the tomatoes and it's really easy to be because if you've ever tried a Granger County tomato, you can understand why there is a whole festival centered around that fabulous fruit. I am here with Jan and he is the one that I say he knows everything about the festival. He, I don't know if he would say that, but I am saying it. Jan, what all is going on this weekend at the Granger County Tomato Festival? I don't know if I can get it all said, Katie, to be honest with you. You can walk around, people can, you know, we got we got tractors here, we've got cars, uh, we've got all kind of produce, delicious tomatoes, of course. We've got the Opry tonight inside the air-conditioned gym. It's totally free, gospel, bluegrass, and country music. Be giving away about $800 worth of gifts, etc. Tomorrow, we've got Tomato Wars, art show, history, you name it, it's here. Oh my goodness, those Tomato Wars are always so fun, too. So, those are at 10? Those are at start at 10 o'clock. I know Mike Simon and you need to come for that. You would enjoy getting those tomatoes thrown at you. Oh, yes. I'm sure that Mike would love throwing the tomatoes at me. That's for sure. I would enjoy throwing them at him, too. But, yeah, I think that if people have never been up here, they really need to come and check it out because it's not just buying the tomatoes and the great produce up here in Granger County, but it's all the vendors, like you mentioned. Jan, thank you so much. And now, you know, we mentioned Mike Simon. Uh, he's around here somewhere. He's... Uh, Getting a head start on that Granger County farming up here on the tractor. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, thanks. <laughs>